this is John Little, and I'm going to be trying my hand at FTL today. Let's play FTL. FTL, or Faster Than Light, is a fantastic roguelike game. I'm not really sure about all the vagaries of roguelike. It means something to s some things to some people and other things to others. What it means in this case, though, is that the game randomly creates a galaxy for you to explore with your own ship and your own crew. Along the way, you're given a plot, you're trying to avoid the rebels before they can catch you, and you're trying to save the Federation. Let's start a new game here. One of the things I love about this is that it reads almost like a bedtime story. I've always wanted, like, sci-fi themed bedtime stories. I have a few ships here. Sadly, I deleted some of my original game data, so I don't have all the ships that I wish I still had. I especially wish I still had that one. I won't go into details about what that one is. Since this is the first FTL Let's Play that I've done, I'm going to just be going with the Kestrel. It's a good solid ship with a good solid crew. We've got three human crew members, as you can see here. Artemis missile, the burst laser Mark II, which some people think to be one of the best get the best weapons in the game. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Now, one of the things I love about this game is how the plot of the game is so very, very simple. There's not much detail here, but this game manages to do so much with very little. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. This looks like trouble. I'm going to intervene to defend the outpost. The rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. They move in to engage. Now, I should probably have powered my weapons before. Oh, they're hacking my oxygen. Hacking is one of many subsystems that they can use in this. I'm going to divert medical power to my engines. Maybe I can avoid trouble. I'll shoot there. I'm going to turn on my auto fire so that I don't have to keep retelling it to shoot. This weapon can't get through my shield, but if they can knock through my shield in some other way, that thing could cut a line across me. It looks like they only have a missile, though, and missiles don't really affect shields unless they attack your shield sector. See, that just missed me. Missile weapons can go through shields. Beam weapons are stopped by shields. Laser weapons impact shields and knock them out for a moment. This rebel ship's almost done. I've got a fire! I'm going to open this up so that we take away the oxygen. So the ship breaks apart, and you quickly salvage what you can. A missile, a drone part, and 18 pieces of scrap. Scrap is metal. And scrap is metal that's used as money in this game. Also got a weapon called a healing burst. The outpost hails you. The pompous bastards expected free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. That's three fuel and 17 scrap. I'm gonna close this so I can let oxygen go, and notice that the oxygen doesn't replenish automatically. It takes a little time. I could invest some of the scrap metal into improving my oxygen system, but I'm not going to improve anything just yet. I'm going to go to this unvisited location. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings, and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. They're trying to shake me down for money. I'm not going to pay their toll. I'm going to reject. Too bad. You'll regret this decision. We'll see about that. I'm going to target their weapons again. I could use my missile, and it would help me to eliminate them faster. But the thing is, I only have nine missiles. I can collect more missiles, of course. I'm going to target the shields next. Bam, bam. Please don't kill us. We'll give you everything we have. Accept their offer, or we will not accept surrender. 
I've decided that this crew is very anti-pirate, so I will not accept surrender. Don't mess with us when we're on the run from the rebel fleet. Pretend I said that in a way that makes me sound menacing. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. So, some more fuel, two more missiles, 13 scrap. Let's see where I can jump to. You'll notice this, that is where the rebels will hit by the time I jump. I could jump back here and explore a little more, but that's going to put me right next to that. So I'm going to push on to this unvisited location. I love this background. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. What could this be? You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? I can try to communicate peacefully, bring some of the creatures on board to sell, or leave. You know, I've never seen a good outcome from number two. I've played this before a few times. I've not tried two very often, so it's always tempting. But I'm going to try to communicate peacefully this time. Try to communicate in every possible way you can, but they just stand there, silently judging you with their large, expressionless eyes. You prepare to leave. I think that the only way that, that actually works there is if you have an NG in your crew. I won't go into why, but I think that NGs increase your odds of them communicating with you. I will leave my little pony planet. I'll say farewell to... Applejack and Fluttershy. A mantis ship with the markings of a warrior tribe breaks position and attacks. Fortunately, this mantis ship does not have any teleporters, so we should be safe. Let's target their weapons. I've actually not played much of the Kestrel lately. I've been playing different ships, and it's weird to me that I'm attacking their weapons first like this, because... A lot of the things I've been using lately, you attack with different strategies based on the strengths of your ship. And, okay, I have my shield back. They attack with an ion weapon, which can overcharge your system with energy or disrupt the flow of energy. And because they did that, it took a while for my shields to kick back on. The Mantis have learned a valuable lesson. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. I'm going to have Ohm, my pilot, fix this. You'll notice that the rooms are dark here. It's dark because that was destroyed, and you need sensors to see the other rooms. I'm going to... Pause for a second here. That's not what I want. I want options. I can hear no music. I'm hoping it won't be overpowering for you. Because music was a little loud before. There we go. You stumble across the forward scout of the rebel fleet. I love the music in this game. They're powering up the FTL. If they get away, they'll no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay, so now, in addition to their weapons, I'm going to use one of my missiles here to shoot that. Because that is an anti-combat drone. Oh, no. No, he knocked out my Artemis weapon. So now I'm going to attack with lasers while he works on fixing the weapons. Okay, their FTL is delayed for a bit. I'm going to turn my Artemis back on. Wow, that was right to me. Hmm, I'm going to send my pilot away. It's dangerous to send your pilot away because then you can't ev evade any shots they shoot at you. But I'm hoping... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, jump imminent. Let's try that. And bam. Okay. No. Ah, you keep attacking my oxygen. All right. 
The ship breaks apart, and you're relieved to know that you're still one step ahead of the fleet. Wonderful. I'm gonna send Ohm to go fix my oxygen. Because if there's one thing we need in space, it's oxygen, and we're down to 50% oxygen. So, thank you, Ohm. Go back to your pilot seat. You build up skills while you play. Ohm has repaired things three times, but if he repairs things 16 times, he can repair things faster. I think it also increases your score a little if you invest time in making sure people's skills are good. Danger. Or a sun is here. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel ship impervious to the heat moves in to engage. This is something that sort of breaks the game a little bit for me. Because, oh no, he's hacking my weapons. I might have to run. But whenever you go to a place that's hazardous, like if there's a sun too close to you, or if there's an asteroid field or something, there is always a ship waiting for you. That is one of the weird quirks about this game that doesn't make much sense to me. I'm going to shoot now while the shooting's good. I'm going to attack their weapons. I'm also going to attack this hacking program, see if I can make it stop hacking my... No, I missed the hacking. Solar Flare imminent. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Just a little fire there. Okay, you go in there. Let's not waste any more missiles. Bam, 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 bam! No more hacking for you. I could jump now, which might not be a bad idea, but I'm going to see if I can take this guy out first. And one more shot with a missile. It takes care of him. Oh. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. That line comes up a lot, doesn't it? Well, you, Markins, need to leave here. And I'm going to open up the void of space here so that the fire will stop spreading. Good. I'm safe here until it tells, warns me that a solar flare is imminent. Like that! So I'm gonna jump now. Oh, I want to jump back there. Is it safe? Probably not, but I'll do it. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails and offers you laborers for cheap. I could buy a slave named Cubbin and set him free to join my crew, but I'm going to attack the slaver scum, because as I said before, I hate pirates this time around. I don't have much time here, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to hurry things along by using my missiles. Let's see if I can knock out their ability to pilot. Bam, bam. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. I accept the offer and welcome Manon into the ship. Manon, head on over to the shields. You'll do a good job there. I'm going to save my crew stations. I'm going to jump to one more location. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. I'm going to attack the automated ship to get to the storage cache, but I won't show you how that attack goes. And he's mind-controlling one of my crew members! Ma Fan has been mind-controlled and is attacking our own engines. Oh no, this is a horrible situation. Will the crew survive? We'll come back next time on Let's Play FTL, brought to you by me, John. Take care, and I'll see you next time for the thrilling conclusion to this battle.